Hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite. I was going to do something cool. The explosive one, Jonas. We're the man on the sticks. We are. And we're, I'm stuck on the thing. And we're playing Borderlands 3. The best. We are. It's Tiny Tina. I love her. I like Tiny Tina. I liked right. her in Borderlands 2. She was funny. She was... All right, so uh, this is the Twin Gods area. Yeah. It is dangerous here. We I are, bet. We are probably going to die. Fair. <laughs> so I hope you have made your amends with your families. Uh, and you have uh, I'm done, the froze again. done the funeral arrangements. Yeah, I have those. Oh, Jonas. I'm making a quick stop. Yeah, I feel, you I feel like it's worth it. Yeah, I I, I saw that. Oh, I can't move. <laughs> There's a lot of lag. There is a lot of lag. Uh, we can reset the uh, router after this episode. Maybe uh, that'll help. I don't know me. if that'll help or not, dude. I mean, it kind of just does its thing. It kind of just does its thing. Yeah, like by its thing, what? I mean nothing. I is there nothing in stuff. here? What is this thing? Can't read this oh, this, this is a lantern on a box. Yeah, dude, and a little, like, special yeah, stuff, Yeah, I see, I see that thing Location there. marked. I don't want that. I thought there was something cool in here. Here's an ancient pyramid. Oh, dude, I like pyramids. Oh, dude, there's no back to it. It's just a, it's just a store model. It's, <laughs> it's, a, it's a faux pyramid. <laughs> yeah, right. It's like one of those houses where it looks like a house, and you walk around the back, it's just like the shell. <laughs> You're like, oh. Jones, what's the deal with tiny houses? I feel like I'm missing out on something think, here. Okay, if I was a tiny person, I think a tiny house would be great. I'm not a small man. No, I mean, I'm a way smaller man than I've ever I'd been. Like Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But like, I think maybe I like maybe I could do a tiny house, and I just feel like I couldn't because I feel like I'm still like, larger than I am. Like, are they just like like a single apartments? In oh house no, form? it's way smaller. Have you ever seen that show? No, what the it hell? Is, I don't watch TV, dude, fam. Dude, it is like a closet. What? Yeah, dude, and everything's like stacked, and like to get to your table, you gotta like pull it out from under your bed, and then like you have a little ladder to get up in this little. It's like, and you sleep in like a like shoebox. Is it like a Japanese pod hotel? I don't know what that is, but I'm gonna guess yes. Oh, that's that was one of my. It's friends. like a 200 square foot. I can't place. stop it! I can't stop it, dude! I can't. Oh. Uh, I couldn't stop it. I was frozen. I was just moving with momentum. Um, um. Momentum. Um, um, um. <laughs> no, we better not be all the way back at the goddamn way. That's fine. <laughs> right. All right, continue. But I think, <laughs> I think it's like, I don't know what a Japanese pod hotel is, but my guess is yes. They're like 200 square foot. Japanese pod hotels are where you sleep in like a, a plastic, not a coffin, I won't say, but... <laughs> Yeah. Essentially, it's like a bed that is like oval shaped, or they can be. It box -like. is like okay. Have you ever seen like a pop up camper that goes in like the back of a truck? Yeah. It's kind of like oh, that, sorry. but like it's a full up, like structure, but it's all just like on top of each other, and everything's oh. like hidden. And it's all very small, and it's supposed to like. I guess the point of it is to show you that you don't need a lot of space and possessions, but. Like, I, mean, yeah, I'm cool I don't want to sit in my bed all the time, and that's the only option I have. Because, uh, like, it's like your bed is your couch, is your table, is your vanity. Oh. Yeah, it's like, it's weird, dude. It's, I like I like that minimalistic It's whole very minimalistic. Idea. Yes, 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 yes. It says the men with two big screen TVs. Look, I like the One of yours, bro. <laughs> I mean, all I'm, I have two as well. Yeah, dude. <laughs> One I got for 40 bucks, so. Okay, well. I'm saying for myself. <laughs> I say it with the... Anyway. Uh, yeah, so I like the minim minimalistic ideals, but yeah. uh, I don't know if I want to live in a tiny area. It's doing it again. I'm jumping out now. I could not stop the vehicle. Yeah, All dude, right, there I, we go. We're I, good. Like, I don't... Like, I don't care about physical things very much, like materialistic stuff, yeah. really at all. Like, I have... I, yeah, I try things? to, like keep stuff to me. I mean, I have a lot of, like, trinkets and BS I put on the walls, but I would get rid of all of it in a minute. I don't care about it. It's just for something to look at. 
Um, yeah, essentially. Yeah, like I, it, like if yeah, if I, if I was like, oh man, I gotta get rid of all these things I have on the wall right now, I would be like, cool, but bye. Like I wouldn't <laughs> give a crap about them. You know what I mean? It was like it's just something to look at. I like being visually stimulated. Hmm. And uh, yeah, dude, it's like I don't, I don't know. know. I don't get like, and that's what we were talking about the last episode. If I had, oh, you're we're not getting back in the car. If I had all like millions of dollars. I would probably still drive a regular car. Like, because I don't care about cars. Like, I'm just like, yep, it's a car. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Like, but I, it would not stop me from buying an NASCAR if I were rich. Yeah, I mean, if I had the money and it was just like, well, it could sit in the bank or I can buy a car. Like, I mean, I guess I'd buy the car, but it's not because I give a crap. I don't. I don't know. I don't like. I don't know. We always talk. I don't like being flashy either. So. Oh. <laughs> and see, I do like flashy, do but like only you. on myself. What? I said I do like flashy, but only on myself. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh no! I think it's a black thing. <laughs> 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 I do. That's fine. Like, I'm convinced. I don't think anything's wrong with that. <laughs> I just do love being flashy, though. I do. I do. I will wear like extravagant suits all the time. Thank you, Tina. You got nothing. Yeah. You got nothing on us, door. Let's and we're go. in. But, and, uh, but yeah, as far as like my possessions, man, look, I need a TV and an Xbox. Yeah. <laughs> and, and that's and that's how I feel, man. And a nice bed. Yeah, right. Give me a bed. Give me like I so like I my I could, phone, I guess. Like. I guess I, I could, use it. I feel like I could stuff. do the tiny house thing if you, it were if it were big enough. Right. <laughs> they like, were big enough like, I could do it. The idea of a tiny house doesn't bother me. It's the size and like having like I, if I can't like lay down on the floor if I want to, that's a problem for me. Oh. Well, how often do you lay down on the floor? Like, no, like just like, <laughs> You never lay down. On, I've never seen you ever lay down on the floor. Dude, but you, it's a it's not a You just want the option to? Like right. Like if I want like if I can't like lay down like why? Like, what? <laughs> I can't why do I want that? Like, I don't know. Right? I'm like I need to lay down, man. Like, like if I can't, if I can't uh, do jumping jacks in my bathroom, like right. dude, how often are you doing dump, jumping jacks in the yeah. bathroom? Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, I feel you. You know, it's like you a, really, we really don't need the space. And no, that, dude. I just need enough space because I'm six three and like I'm right, I exactly. Need, like, yeah, you like, could, like a tiny here. house. Like, if the ceiling's only six foot tall and you got to walk with a stoop all the time, oh, you, that's <laughs> you would not be happy. You'd be like, why did I do this to my life? Exactly. So, but um, but no, it, I don't know. It like it kind of, it yeah. I don't. I mean, I don't mind tiny houses. It's good for you. Like, <laughs> I'm not getting a tiny house. Yeah. Oh, I'm not getting one either. Like, I'm pretty cool with a one bedroom. Yeah, dude. Like, and like, I feel like, yeah, I don't need a lot. Like, even if I had millions and millions of dollars, I don't think I would buy a ten thousand square foot house. Because then you just feel the need to fill it up with stuff you don't need. Amen. Because it's gonna just be big and empty. Like, Preach. like. Yeah, brother. <laughs> yeah, dude. I lived in a like a 3,300 square foot house right before me and my ex-wife split up, and it was too big. We just felt like we needed to buy more stuff to fill it up. Mm -hmm. And I was like, it, we rented it only because it was the same price as like a 2,000 square foot house, and we're like, well, why not? So it made right, sense. Right. Like it was like we got way more space for the same amount of money, and uh, space was nice. But like, it literally, nice. we were like. But it's, just, like, it's more you gotta clean. It's more you gotta like. You can't just have oh, barren areas. Oh, right. look, she found the chest. Nice, dude. dude but she's then we were like, oh well, we should get it. a couch for upstairs, and we should get this, and we and it's like, why? Yeah. Now we now we have seven couches. Right, dude. What do we need? We there's only four of us that live in this house, and we have seven mm -hmm. couches, and we're mm -hmm. never we like why? Like, <laughs> so it, it like it just breeds a. It breeds a environment of unnecessity. Yes. And like, so it's like, yeah. So it, mm. bars. And it's like the people that. What? She's talking. What is this? Roses are red, but Roses Pandora red. has none. Tyrene <laughs> is the vault girl. She is my son. Oh, so sweet. But he didn't get my title right, so sacrifice him. 
sacrifice them. Yeah, that poetry gets you sacrificed. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, you, having space you don't need built, breeds an environment of unnecessity. And also, if you making more money, if you live to your means, it breeds an environment of never being able to go back, which uh, is also awful. Yeah, that, that is kind of true. Yeah, so if like all of a sudden you make $20,000 more a year and you're like, oh, well, now I can buy a car where my car payment's $600 a month and I can buy this oh, and that. And there really is no, uh, there's no real way of getting around that, because I'm I'm probably the most, uh, at least uh, financially stable that I've ever been in life uh -huh. at this point in time. Yeah, I agree. Me too. Yeah. And uh, I don't know if I can go back. No, I guess I could. I guess I would have no problem if I were. I just keep seeing. Yeah, these, but it's not like because them. you make more money. You are went out and bought a car, a car that had a eight hundred dollar a month payment. Oh, which they were definitely trying to get oh, me in. Oh, absolutely, yeah, for sure. But my point is, like, people who do that, yeah, then they get stuck in jobs they absolutely hate mm -hmm. because they have to keep making that money. Yep. If you make, if you make twenty thousand dollars less a year, but you're at a job that doesn't make you want to die every minute you're there, isn't that worth it? That's my point. As long as you can pay your bills and you can have like yep. the basics that you need to survive, it. Yeah, I don't know, man. People's people's priorities are like. I mean, I I would say messed up, but to them they're not. I would say that a lot of spending beyond your means just comes from uh, like immaturity to a certain extent. I don't know because I just can't imagine wanting something so bad. And knowing I can get it, but it will hamper me in the future, or hamper me in yeah, the future well, from doing but things. Yeah, but that's also, I think it's more, I don't know if it's so much in maturity as it's un, it's not being disciplined. Okay, well, uh, yeah, discipline comes with maturity. But yeah, okay, yeah, I guess, I guess, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah two sides of the same coin. Yeah. It's fine, but yeah, I, I, I've never in my life wanted something to the point where I didn't think I could just save up and get it. And, yeah. and that's usually my preferred method of, of acting. Yeah, my uh, my grandparents used to tell me the only two things you should buy when you don't have the cash to pay for it is a car and a house. Because you those are things that pretty much everyone has oh, to finance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? You, who has 20, 30K or 200K just chilling to buy a house? Yeah, that's true. But anything other than that, what, you there's no reason you really need a loan to do it. Unless it's like... Oh, my car broke down and I can't get to work, so now I have to put this on a credit card or get it first. That makes sense. But, like, other than that, like, yeah, like, people buy credit cards and they buy pizza with it. And by the end of it, that pizza costs you $170. Mm -hmm. Or you buy a $2,000 Gucci bag on a credit card. Jonas, I have never had a credit card. Really? Ever? Ever. I've um, never had a credit card. That's good, man. Is it, be, is it because it is you because feel of the, that you couldn't control yourself if you had one, or you just don't feel the necessity? Uh, I'm a firm believer in pragmatics is how I usually like to answer this. I'm a firm believer in pragmatics, and I've seen too many people incur issues when they get a, a, a credit card. So I chose early on not to choose that as my way of life, and I, you, and, and I came up with the whole idea of if I want something, I'll just save up for it. And that makes and, and it is sense. It, it has worked wonders. It and, also creates you, patience, man. And school. You got to remember that. That's another thing that you have to pay for when you don't have the money. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. School, school. Yeah. school. Yeah, school, houses, and cars. Yeah. That's really it, man. That's man, I, is, I, I'm not, I mean, here's a hot take. Student loans aren't worth it, friends. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Don't want to be that guy, but I'm that guy. Oh, what's this, dude? Oh, hell yeah, dude. That's breakable terrain. I can get in. I'm very lagged. I can't find you at the moment. Uh, okay, you're, in here. You're, you're inside, right? Okay. I am. Okay. This breakable, breakable terrain. I love breakable terrain. But wait, I'm not, oh my I'm not with Sweet. you. Oh, I'm, I'm fighting boys and you're not here. Boy no, with me. You, I'm on should, fire. you should be coming up here. Excuse I'm working me. on it. Hold on. There's skull boys coming at me now, dude. Yeah, I'm getting the fear. They can't hurt you. <laughs> Just come up here. They can hurt me. They do like a 3% of your shields. They just make me scared. I know. It's fine. There's stuff in here. There's a uh, Tyrene. Oh, that's awesome. And then, uh, oh, there's a thing in here. 
Oh, it might be like a secret trapper or something. Oh, Clapper trapper. You found a chest. Oh, open yeah, it. boy. Open sesame. Oh, I got a purple for once. I got one too. I don't want it though. I don't want mine either. <laughs> Gosh dang it. You better take it and sell it though. I will. It'll go to my. It'll go to my it internal will. house. Under here? No. There's more cutouts. Yeah, I don't know. Patience is very important, man. Cause nothing is that important, man. Oh, I found it. Cars ain't that important. The house ain't that important. Like I, I feel like a lot of people, especially them, them dang boomers, they put a lot of pressure on us to, to f do those things that are expected. Yes. Like have a home, own a home, and have two point five children and a dog and a picket fence. The American dream is not the American dream. The American dream is the dream you want. Oh, what's your dream? Go with that. Wait, I think that. Yeah, what's, what's your dream? Not having any kids, being single the rest of your life, and doing whatever. <laughs> not, not, I don't mean you, period. I mean, if your dream is to be single, have no kids, n rent, and. Why are, you, I, why are you selling me out? I did. <laughs> Bro, I don't. When I, I mean the collective you, not you as in God. You feel I, a certain way. I know, but you just called me out That's on some of my dreams. Get out of here, dude! I'm not talking about your personal life. I know, but you did. I hit way home on you. You, you yeah, man. You started hitting some of my dreams. And I was <laughs> You're like, like wow, okay. I like my dream. You said. Yeah, who talks? But if that's who talks your dream, like that? dude, that's great. Let that be your dream because that's gonna make you happy, dude. Right? You know what I mean? You know you're calling me out. I would do, oh my god, I swear to Jesus Lord that I was not. Both of them? Yeah, dude, that was, I, that was not calling you out. It happened to be something that's along the line. It happened to be two specific things. But, dude, I have no children either. I'm also single and have no desire to not be. What was the other thing you said? That was it. No, you said another thing. No. Did you? I said, if you have a desire to not have any kids and be single, and you just are like, oh, call me yeah, out. Oh, yeah, that's true. You, you, don't, you, wait, no, but you don't want to be single. I, uh, I do not want to be locked down. <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't want to be single, though. Like, you, you thrive on human interaction. Yeah, but that doesn't mean I can, I have to be single. I mean, that doesn't mean I have to be locked down. All right, all right, fine. We won't, we won't get too, too deep into it. Yeah, we don't want to get too deep into that. That's, that's it's way too big picture for, for our demographic. <laughs> I know. We're just going to start speaking in, like, innuendos and that, that ain't that Yeah, ain't dude, it's way too big of an ideal for, for our demographic. Oh, wait, what, do you, what, do you think, what do you think? Our demographic is stupid? No, you I think just they're think, not ready? I just, I, no, I don't think they're not ready. I just think that they don't need to hear that sort of stuff at this point in their life. <laughs> at this point in their life, why you, you always that out on your own, man? You can't have someone pushing them ideals at you. Oh, guiding them on ideas of how to tr treat and react towards women, or just your how you want your relationships to be. You know what I mean? That you got to figure that out on your own. Wait, if I've... you want to <clears throat> be locked down with one person and all that, be married and have whatever, good for you. <laughs> Oh, I get what you're saying because you don't want to get married and they might value that. Right, dude. Or they uh, might, yeah, they're like, oh, having having one person that's my everything and all being is what I need my in my life. everything. And that might be what they want and they, they can figure out if that's going to happen and be <laughs> right for them. One person who's my everything. <laughs> <laughs> I I have, I maybe have started developing different ideas, <laughs> and, and you know I don't need to share those. Uh, who's by everything <laughs> is the funniest thing I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, dude. Who's don't put too much value in any one thing. <laughs> don't put all your eggs in one basket. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, but then, you know how they hit you when you say stuff like that? They're like, oh, he's just jaded. Right. Right. But there is a certain degree of jadedness that comes with experience. Right. And to deny that, it would be ignorant. Right. Oh, absolutely. I mean, what the, I like to say, mm, mm. past experience dictate future expectations. Amen, brother. But there's also, you also have to be oh, cognizant. 
and not let your past experiences completely ruin your expectations. I agree. I love that. This right here, the salvation thing with like the. Give him a good shot of this. That's very cool. <laughs> I mean, I guess. It looks a little too cartoony for me. That's true. Jonas, uh, our resident guinea pig, hit one of the no. hit one of the bus stops. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Nothing. Hit the blade. Oh, it, it hurts you a little bit. Yeah. Oh, it even had blood yeah, on it. It added blood on it. See, dude, this is great. I love. Okay, it hit me a little bit there too. I can crack you open. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I love having you as the resident. Yeah, dude, I'm cool with that. I don't mind. I'm glad. <laughs> Yeah, man. So it's you just oh. gotta you gotta warn expectations. You gotta warn. Yeah, man. And but just remember is that 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 jadedness comes from from somewhere, man. There's a reason that a, a vast majority of people have that feeling, man. It's because the world is a is a scary place, man. Yeah, dude. See. It can break the less initiated of us. Yeah, man. It's. I feel the earlier you have that happen, the more prepared you are for later. Hey, man. I mean, it sucks to have it happen when you're young, but at the same time, it <laughs> are, are we young? No, I mean, like, no, if, like, you have the reasons that you're jaded happen to you because you had bad things happen at a young age. It yeah. sucks, but it, I think it almost prepares you better to move forward and be good. Exactly. And the worst thing you can do is give up. Yeah. So, Jonas, on the next episode, we'll get in here because uh, we got to go to the Holy Children's oh, just, 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 Hotel. All right, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you've already done that, share the video with everyone you know, every single person, even your teacher from second grade. Do it. I'm Jonas. And TNT Dynamite. We'll catch you on the next one. We are a... Oh.